Section 3.7, slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. Properties of parallel lines. If two lines are parallel, then their slopes are equal. The converse of that, if two lines have slopes that are equal, then the lines are parallel. And any two vertical lines are parallel. These are the essential formulas that we have used in algebra and in, we're going to use in this section to determine parallel and perpendicular lines. On this example, they want me to determine if line A is parallel to line B. I'm given two points on each line. All I need to do is substitute into the slope formula and see if the slopes are equal. If they are, then the lines are parallel. Let's start with line A. It has points that are 2, 4 and 4, 7. Let's label them x, y, and x, y. doesn't matter which one you let be 1 and 2. Substituting into the slope formula, I'm going to get 7 minus 4 over 4 minus 2. The slope for line A would be 3 over 2. Let's follow the same procedure for the slope of line B. It has points that are 1, negative 3 and 3, 0. Again, I label x, y, x, y, 1 and 2, and determine the slope. 0 minus a negative 3 over 3 minus 1. When I simplify, I'm going to get 3 over 2. Since the slopes are equal, that means these lines are parallel. On my next example, they want me to follow the same procedure as before, determine if line A is parallel to line B. Given two points for line A and B, I've already completed the process of determining the slope by substituting the points into my slope formula. For line A, I've got a negative 1 as its slope. And for line B, I determined its slope was a negative 2 thirds. Therefore, these are not equal. And therefore, line A is not parallel to line B. On this example, they want me to determine if the lines are parallel given the equation of the line. What we want to do to solve this problem is to put our line in the form of y equals mx plus b, which is the slope intercept form. When I do that, m is my slope and b is my y intercept. But what we really want to concern ourselves with is the slope. If they're equal, then the lines are parallel. If they're not, then they're not parallel. My first example, number one, they already have this in slope intercept form. Y equals 1 fourth X minus 2. On this, I have a slope of M equal to 1 fourth. And on my second one, I have Y equals 1 fourth X. Again, M equals 1 fourth. Since the slopes are equal, then these two lines are parallel. On my next example, I need to actually solve for y for each of these. So my first one, I have 2y equals a negative 10x minus 7. Divide by 2, y equals negative 10 divided by 2 is a negative 5x. And a negative 7 divided by 2 is a negative 7 halves. Now I need to solve the other equation for y, determine their slopes. I'm going to have a negative 15x minus 3y equals 10. I'm going to add 15x to both sides. And now divide by a negative 3. That's going to give me y equal to a negative 5x minus 10 thirds. I can see that my slopes are both equal to a negative 5. Therefore, these two lines are parallel. On my next example, 
Again, I want to determine if the lines are parallel. I'm given the equations. So I have to solve for y to put it in slope-intercept form. That way I can determine the slope. So my first equation, I have a negative 3y equals a negative 12x minus 5. Divide by a negative 3. That gives me y equal to 4x plus 5 thirds. My slope is 4. For my next equation, I have 4x minus 3y equals 12. Subtract 4x, I get a negative 3y equals a negative 4x plus 12. Divide by a negative 3. That gives me y equal to 4 thirds x minus 4. My slope is 4 thirds. These two slopes are not equal. Therefore, my lines are not parallel. On this example, I want to write an equation for a line that is parallel to xy that contains the point z. So in other words, I need to find the slope of xy. And then I need to find a line that goes through this point but has the same slope as line xy. That will make those two lines parallel. So let's start out using the slope-intercept formula to find m for line xy. So I have 3x minus 2y equals 9. What I'll do is subtract 3x on both sides. That gives me a negative 2y equals a negative 3x plus 9. Divide by a negative 2. And that means y is equal to 3 over 2x minus 9 over 2. So the slope of line xy is equal to 3 halves. So I need to find a line that goes through 4, negative 2, but has a slope of 3 halves. I'm going to use the point-slope formula. That is when I'm given a point, which I have, x, y, and that would be labeled 1 and 1, and I have a slope. And that slope needs to be equal to the slope of line x, y. So I just substitute y minus y1 is negative 2 equals m, which is 3 halves, times x minus x1 which is 4. Now I solve this equation for y. Simplifying y plus 2 equals, I'm going to distribute, 3 over 2x minus 3 times a negative 4 is a negative 12 over 2 is a negative 6. Now I'm just going to subtract 2. y equals 3 over 2 x. Subtracting 2, I get a negative 8. And notice my slope is 3 over 2. Therefore, these two lines have equal slopes and therefore are parallel. But this line runs through 4, negative 2. Our properties for perpendicular lines. If two lines are perpendicular, the product of their slopes is a negative 1. In other words, they are negative reciprocals of each other. And the converse of that, if the slopes of two lines have a product of a negative 1, in other words, they are negative reciprocals, then the lines are perpendicular. And any horizontal line and a vertical line are perpendicular. For our first example, if line A is perpendicular to line B, then determine the slope of line B. On my first example, I'm given line A has a slope of a negative 1. If B is to be perpendicular to line A, their slopes must be negative reciprocals. So the slope of line B must be equal to the negative reciprocal of a negative 1 half. Therefore, I flip 1 half and change the sign. 
Also, it was stated that the product of their slopes must equal a negative 1. And negative 1 half times 2 over 1 is a negative 1. Therefore, that shows that just making the negative reciprocal will generate a product of a negative 1. On my next example, I have line A has a slope of 3 and 2 thirds. 3 and 2 thirds would give me an improper fraction of 3 times 3 is 9, 11 over 3. The slope of line B must be the negative reciprocal of that, which would be 3 over 11, and I would make that negative. If line A has a slope of a negative 7, that's like writing the slope that would be equal to a negative 7 over 1. Therefore, line B would have a slope that is a negative reciprocal to that. Therefore, I flip it and make it positive. My next example, line A has a slope of 0. We know that a slope of 0 means my line is horizontal. Therefore, I need to have line B have a slope that is a vertical line. And we know a vertical line slope is undefined. On this example, I want to determine if lines A and B are perpendicular. Here I'm given line A and has two points and line B that has two points. I can determine the slope by plugging those points into the slope formula. Let's start with line A. Here I'm given points negative 4, negative 4, and negative 2, negative 1. When I label x, y, x, y, and 2, 2, 1, 1. Substituting for the slope of A, I'm going to get a negative 1 minus a negative 4 over a negative 2 minus a negative 4. Simplifying, I'm going to get 3 over 2. For line B to be perpendicular, I need to have a slope that is a negative reciprocal, which would be a negative 2 thirds. Let's determine that in the same fashion. For line B, I'm given points of negative 5, 5, and negative 3, 3. Labeling. And then I substitute. That's going to give me 3 minus 5 over a negative 3 minus a negative 5. And when I simplify, I'll get a negative 2 over a negative 3 plus 5 is a positive 2. There my slope is a negative 1. Since these slopes are not a negative reciprocal, these two lines are not perpendicular. On the next example, I want to follow the same procedure as the previous slide. I did the work for us. And what I did is I was given two points for line A, and I determined their slope by plugging into the slope formula and got a negative 8 thirds. Then I determined the slope of line B by substituting into the slope formula and got 3 eighths. These two are negative reciprocals. Therefore, the two lines are perpendicular. On this example, we need to determine if the lines are perpendicular given the equation of two lines. Therefore, we need to put this into slope-intercept form and determine the slope. On our first example, I already have y equal to a negative 3 halves x plus 7. This is the slope, so the slope is in a negative 3 over 2. Now I need to determine if this equation has a slope that is a negative reciprocal to this. Solving for y, 9y, negative 9y, subtract 6x on both sides, and divide by a negative 9. When I do, y equals a negative divided by a negative is a positive, and simplifying 6 ninths is going to give me 2 thirds x minus 10 ninths. Here, my slope is 2 thirds, and these two slopes are negative reciprocals. Therefore, these two lines must be perpendicular. If I take this equation on 
my second example and divide by two, that will put my equation in slope intercept form. So when I do that, I'm going to get y equals a negative four x plus seven. And as I said, it stated, divide by two. Therefore, y equals a negative two x plus seven halves. My slope is a negative two. Now I need to determine the slope of this equation. And when I do that, I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides. That gives me a negative 4y equals a negative 3x plus 8. Divide by 4, a negative 4. And y equals 3 fourths x. minus 2. And the slope of this equation is 3 fourths. These are not negative reciprocals, therefore these are not perpendicular lines. In this example, they want us to write an equation for the line perpendicular to line xy. And I have that equation of line xy here. But I want a line perpendicular to this line, but it must pass through this point. For me to do that, I need to determine the slope of this line and then put a line through point Z that has a slope that is a negative reciprocal. So our first step is to determine the slope of this line. Therefore, I need to solve for Y. When I do that, I'm going to divide by 4 on both sides, and Y will give me a negative 3 x plus 5 over 4. Therefore, y is equal to a negative 3 fourths x plus 5 fourths. Its slope is a negative 3 fourths. I need to generate a line that has a slope that is a negative reciprocal to this. Therefore, that slope would have to have a slope of a positive four-thirds. To generate an equation for this point and slope, I can use the point-slope formula and substitute in. I can label x, y, 1, and 1, and then substitute. So y minus y1 is 2. My slope is the negative reciprocal to the slope of x, y, which is going to give me four-thirds and x minus x1, which is a negative 3. Simplifying, y minus 2 equals, distribute, 4 thirds x. That is 4 times a positive 3, which is 12. 12 divided by 3 is a positive 4. And now I'm going to add 2. y equals? four-thirds x, adding two, I get six. This is an equation of a line that passes through this point, but is perpendicular to this line.